I chose this color too. It's one of my favorite colors is gold. My truck is gold. I want to do something different and kind of test myself to see if I can do it. Hey, that's fresh. Peanuts Automotive Adventures. Yeah, that's Peanut. I'm James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventure, where every day is an automotive adventure. We're going to give a brief shout out to our official sponsor. TheGraphicsPotVA.com. The TheGraphicsPotVA.com. You know, uh, hit, hit their website. It's going to be down right there. What else is going to be there? The Etsy store, right? Etsy store is going to be there. So please reach out to them for all your graphic needs, graphic design needs, and decal needs, and banners, and t shirts, and hoodies, and all hats, and and mugs and he does it all y'all so reach out to him team run it and tell him that peanuts automotive adventure sent you all right today's video we're going to introduce you to innovative powders out of prince george virginia as y'all can see we got some of his uh work here his uh craftsmanship great craftsmanship here but we're not going to talk about it he's going to talk about it but he does great work. Uh, he does all our powder coating for Peanuts Automotive Adventure, and we really do appreciate him. We appreciate him so much that we want to bring him onto the channel to talk about his work a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This is another interview. Um, this is another interview with a great person and a great small business. So uh, without ado, me and Peanut, we're going to move out the way and let him move on in. Come on, Peanut. How y'all doing? I'm uh, Zach. Owner of uh, Innovative Powders. Um, I do a lot of a lot of powder coating for James and, and, and Peanut for their cars and stuff. So this is uh, me today talking about some of the pieces we got in front of us. Um, first, we got uh, some intercooling piping that I did for James and his cars. His Grand National, as you see behind me. Uh, all we got right here is just a, a regular matte black. Um, Nothing too fancy, nothing crazy, but just the color itself, it, it speaks for itself. And um, I got, uh, so that turbo cover you did for me, it was great, man. You right. know, that flat black. Uh, I didn't want to go shiny black with it because right. the car is already shiny enough. And right. I just wanted it to be subdued. Right. And, uh, you know, you did great work on that for me. Right. Uh, one uh, you know, it's great. You know, that's the uh, turbo intercooler piping team run it to the drag car. And that turbo cover is actually to that project car over there in the garage over there. So thank you, man. Yeah, you did great work, man. No you did great work on that, and I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now I'm looking at your great work at that wheel right there. <laughs> yeah. That wheel, man. Oh, yeah. Matter of sure. fact, let, let me go ahead, and I'm going to angle the camera a little bit, and you can go ahead and get to talking about that wheel you done did. Okay. All right. Well, this right here... Uh, First is, it's my personal wheel, so I want it to be a little different. I got my truck coming, coming here soon. I want it to be a little different. Also kind of showcase my work, kind of like ad, ad, advertise me, you know. So I decided to do a two-tone, two-tone wheel. It's, uh, colors are Spanish gold. Yeah, I was wondering about that color, yeah, man. Yeah, Spanish okay. gold, and actually the, the middle of it is it's called nocturnal gold. So that's two different goals. It's two different goals. Okay. It looks okay. it looks black, but it, it's two different goals. So I chose this color to one of my favorite colors is gold. My truck is gold. I want to do something different and kind of test myself to see if I could do the two tone because I see a lot of guys doing it. So I wanted to try my skills out of doing it. So yeah, this is this is it. Uh, Twenty six by fourteen, and it was it was a it was a tough thing to do, but we got it done, and hopefully we got a lot more coming. And when you say uh, tough, like labor intensive, like time consuming? Yeah, a little okay. time consuming. But okay. once once I did the first wheel, I kind of picked up 
the how to do it, you know. And yeah. It, as, as I progressed, I got quicker. Okay. Quicker. Okay. So by the time you got to that fourth wheel, you was you was on. Yeah, I was right. I got you. Yes, sir. I got yes, you. Yes, sir. I got you. And also, that that black is the same color as the. What is that on the lip right yeah, there? Those rivets got, are. Yeah, yeah, you have the black the uh, nocturnal gold on the inside of these. On okay. The lip. Yes, sir. Yeah, and, and I like how you did the inside of the wheel too. Right. For I mean, when you put the tire on it, you did that, right. and the backside. Man, you did an awesome job. I'm not even gonna lie. Thank you, thank you. Now the, the center cap. What color is that? The center cap. It'll probably be gold. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I didn't bring my other wheel, but. Actually, what I'm gonna do is uh, one side is gonna be this color, mm -hmm. and then on the other side it's gonna be flipped. Okay. So it'll okay. be black with a gold middle, mm. just to do something different, you know. All right. What made you get into powder coating, man? Powder coating? Um, yeah. Really? Well, I did a lot of the racing, so I used to see a lot of the guys have their bikes and stuff different colors, and I used to always wonder, was it like just paint? What, what it was? And then I got to talking to some of them, and then I got to the point where they would tell me, oh, it's powder coat, powder coat. So oh. looked it up, was interested in it, like wonder how it went. Yeah. And then I finally got myself to just buy the equipment. Okay. Something from Harbor Freight, tried it out on some stuff I had laying around the garage, and then from there it just went, it skyrocketed. Okay. Yeah, it is, Kyrie. You made, you made it into a business. Right. You know, you a small business owner. You know what I'm saying? I look up to you for that. And I've been following you on um, um, on your Instagram. You know, let's mention that you got your Instagram going. You got your Facebook business page. Right. Uh, you know, uh, um, what's your Instagram? Uh, it's at Innovative Powders underscore. Got you, got you. And your Facebook business page is uh, at Innovative Powders. Got it, got yes, it. So y'all, y'all, y'all look him up. Y'all look him up on his uh, social media accounts. But he does great work. I've been following you. Right. Uh, you do great work. Uh, right. Not to be funny, but I don't just, uh, I'm very particular about who touches my Grand National, right. and you did. It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. you did. You know right. what I'm saying? So, because you did that, we're going to go ahead and um, look over some of the pieces you did on the Grand National for us, man. Yeah. All right, Team Run It. He was mentioning, before we get to the Grand National, he just showed me something off camera, and I got to get it on camera. See that flake, that, that, that flake in there, man? That thing looked good, man. Yeah, we just wanted y'all to see that. What he was really, truly talking about was that. What's the name of that color again? Uh, Nocturnal Gold. Nocturnal Gold. I kept thinking this color was black, and it's a gold. Yes, yeah, sir. Man, that's nice, man. Yeah, if y'all can see that flake right there. Man. No, that's nice. That's nice. Team Run It, we're going to go over here. We're going to show some of the work. I know I did one YouTube channel, all, I mean, YouTube video already on the things that he did for us when it came to the uh, Grand National. I just want to point them out again. Briefly, he did the turbo cover on GNX 548. He did the up pipe, the, uh, the cold side pipe for us. And he did the radiator cover. He did a bunch of these for me, so this radiator cover. So I think the next thing I'm probably going to get him to do is a, a, a stock intercooler and the air box right here. I can take the air box off of it and get him to do it because I got an extra one in the shed because he does great work, Team Running. He does great work. You know, y'all look up his uh, social media. Reach out to him if you got any powder coating projects. If you in Central Virginia, reach out to him, y'all. Look at Peanut. Reach out to him. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me go ahead and bam. There it is. Right there. Phone number, everything. There it is. That's my T-shirt because I'll be representing him. That's my T-shirt right there. But, yeah, he does great work, y'all. And y'all reach out to him. All right, Team Running, we're going to go ahead and close out this video. This is another interview we just wanted to bring y'all. Um, as y'all can see, in 2024, we're trying to interview local um, people's passion, bringing it to the channel, letting y'all see what they're passionate about, what services they bring, what business they bring. Who we use, you know, we just trying to do all that, right, Peanut? Yep. Just trying to do it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we're doing it for the automotive culture, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's Peanut. I'm James. This is Peanut's Automotive Venture. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. We out. Peace. Peace.